taking out three four-star events. And here we have a veteran yes. of snowboarding. Yes, she indeed. represents the history of snowboarding. She would not like to hear that, but it is the case. <laughs> and a uh, head up or a chapeau that she's still rocking. No and doubt. And big time. Coming back from a broken back suffered in uh, 2016. Can you imagine that sets you really back to the couch and uh, it has been a real, str not struggle, like a struggle, it has to be, it's a mental thing as well to come back strong and ride on that level you have been when you had been nearly landing in the wheelchair. No doubt. Well, <coughs> she is a fantastic competitor, first ever women's gold medalist in Olympic half-pipe snow snowboarding at the... Uh, Nagano Olympics in 1998. Beautiful drop into the steep section, opening her campaign on the tour here. Exactly what the judges want to see. Solid riding, didn't touch any hands on the snow on the landing. Solid out of the steep part. She also, she has the right uh, feeling to find the good snow. Going for another air there, you can see her approaching. That knoll, boom, stomping it nearly clean. She had a little washout, I would say, in the there freestyle language. <laughs> in the freestyling world, that would not count. She definitely had her butt down on the on the landing there, but it doesn't matter. She can make up for it. Yes, loving it. Don't get hooked on on those cookies. No, still has a shot at a podium finish. Finished second here in Valnor Arcadis as a wild card in 2015, and then went on to win the Verbier Extreme that same year. Granted a wild card on to tour for 2016. Unfortunately, broke her back in the interim. So it took a year off, and now she is back and with a vengeance. And she silently told me that it might be her last season as a competitive writer but uh, this is also something I would just put into quotes because uh, <laughs> she's another one of those ones if she, <laughs> if she tastes if she tastes blood and gets a few wins I don't see her <laughs> hanging it up Mel maybe unless she wins the tour and goes okay been there done that thanks <laughs> yeah. but uh, if she comes close she will be back yeah if she comes close she'll be back that's for sure here we have that washout she really had to completely shut down and uh, get herself back up. I wouldn't consider it as a complete crash though, but you know, you never know what the judges think about it. No, no, it wasn't a full bail, but she did get stuck up, stuck, stuck up in the snow on the landing. But she gets, oh, geez, there you go, points. She gets it for trying it, and uh, <laughs> because it was not a full bail, and it's 